Today, we warmly welcome our guest, the Director of Youth Empowerment, Mr. Kier Leibert, to help us reflect on his past November Youth Month activities. Welcome, Kier. Good to have you here with us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so tell us, what is Youth Month and why is it celebrated? Well, Youth Month is, youth month is an annual celebration of our young people. We should be celebrating the energies, potential, um, the capacities of our youth 24-7, 365 days a year. Youth Month in November of each year presents a special opportunity for us to collectively do so and to raise the volume on the cheering of our young people and their, their talents, their creativity, their potential, their, all that they give and offer to the society currently and the capacity of so Youth Month is again, a month-long celebration, and it, it entails a series of initiatives that try to highlight and showcase young people in their diversity. As impossible as that, as that might be, <laughs> right. um, we do, um, at least in, from the part of the Department of Youth Empowerment, um, touch on a number of areas where we're able to, to celebrate young people, and we invite the general public to do the same. I could list a few areas. Um, that includes the contribution in community development um, through service initiatives. We have on youth service days. We invite the youth organizations to build their capacity in first aid and CPR certification during youth month and other times during the year. We used to have um, the annual bike ride around the island. That, in, that is a fun and healthy initiative mm -hmm. um, that the young people and not so young people love and we hope to bring back um, soon. Um, the choir festival where we get the young persons to display their, um, their singing talents. We have the high school chef competition, baking competitions, the visual arts um, display exhibit and a whole host of other things and the 25 most remarkable teen which is the cream of the crop mm -hmm. awards um, both federally and say in the region. Okay, so you, you spoke to us a little bit about the, the criteria, how they're picked. Can you expound just a little bit? Is it um, just academic? Is it extracurricular? Or are you looking for more well-rounded teams? Is it? Yes. Okay. We, we want to recognize and we want to encourage and facilitate the, the development of well-rounded citizens of St. Kitts and So it's while we understand that persons may be um, super academically inclined and might mm -hmm. have 24 subjects, 60 subjects. Right, which is, which is that, amazing. That is amazing in itself, but um, life and... It's about balance. It's about more and, yes. and balance. And we prefer not to encourage people to have their children trapped in a basement studying 24-7 so that they can hide a million subjects. Not saying that that's the case, <laughs> but we encourage um, our people, our citizens, future leaders to be more well-rounded, to have experience, to have um, you know, more to offer, um, and be, let me, let me keep it at well-rounded. Mm -hmm. So while you have your academics, we encourage you to be engaged in your community, you maybe able to um, engage in sports and so forth, and have life experience that, um, that are worthy of being emulated, mm -hmm. and to be of an inspiration to other young people, and older people. Mm -hmm.